Join us on an unforgettable journey to see one of the new seven wonders of the world, the ancient city of Petra. We wander through the seat to the famous treasury and then hike to an incredible viewpoint that may be my favorite part for more than one reason. Good morning. We just checked out of our hotel here in Mon and now we're just in an Uber on our way to the airport to go pick up our car rental. It's a bit of a rainy day today. So our initial plan was to get the car and then drive north to Jurash to see that city first and then head down south to Petra. However, we weren't able to get the car until noon today. And because sunset is so early here, I believe it's around like 4.42 p.m. today. Just with the timing, it, it didn't make sense, mainly because we just don't want to be driving at night. Just to be on the safe side, we decided that we were just going to head directly down to Petra today. Driving in Jordan has been so far so good. I mean, we've only been doing it for about 20 minutes. For the most part, signage is really good. It's pretty clear what the speed limit is. When we were first leaving the airport, there was a bit of confusion about getting on the highway because it didn't seem like it was clearly marked but I mean it still wasn't a big deal we didn't miss our turn or anything like that while you're also following like your GPS you also need to you know eyes up <laughs> another great thing about the roadsides in Jordan is that anytime there's any writing on the signs they're in both Arabic and English so that's really helpful for those of us who don't speak Arabic or can't read Arabic so we're probably gonna make a few stops on our way down to Petra today we're gonna be stopping at Carrick Castle, and then there's one other castle that we might be stopping at depending on how timing looks. So we've decided not to stop at any of the castles on the way to our hostel today because the visibility has just dropped to <laughs> nearly zero. I don't think it's even currently raining, but it's just so foggy that there's like no visibility. For the sake of safety and the fact that the sun goes down in just under two hours, we've decided that it's just the safest head right to our hostel. So we just spent the last 40 minutes driving through fog again. And then as soon as we drive into the area of Petra, about 10 minutes from our hotel, just completely clears up. So now it's just like blue sky, it's sunny. I mean, beautiful, but really, <laughs> did it have to be that difficult and stressful to get here? But we're less than a minute away from our hostel now, so we've made it. We just went and had lunch at a place close by to our hostel. The food was pretty decent, but it's important to know that everything is going to be super expensive. Lunch for us, we each got like one dish and we had a little starter and Dave got a Coke and it was 28 dinar, which is around $60 Canadian. So now we're just heading back to our hostel, but we wanna show you, this is how you get into the hostel. There's no other entrance, there's no elevator or anything like that. So here we go. Also, I feel like they could invest in some, some taller railings. But there you have it, Petra Cabin Hostel. So yeah, you come all the way up and then once you get inside, you come down two flights of stairs and you leave your shoes. Good morning from Petra. So we're having a little bit of a later start than we planned. It's 7.40 right now. We had planned to be in the gates <laughs> by around seven. But I mean, here we are, so we're gonna do it. And uh, yeah, we have to remember to use our Jordan Pass, which I feel like we would regardless because of how expensive it is for a one day and two day pass at Petra. We don't really have much of a plan for today. I think we at least plan to see the treasury, potentially the monastery. I really have no idea until we see a map. So 
So even if you have purchased the Jordan Pass, you do need to get into the ticket line because uh, they scan your Jordan Pass and then they give you the actual tickets. And then they also have free maps for you to grab as well. So we've just started the hike in towards the treasury. It's an eight kilometer out and back hike. We'll just be doing the four kilometers in obviously and then uh, deciding how much more hiking we're going to be doing. It's supposed to take three and a half to four hours to walk. I guess that's a round trip, so an hour or two in. The Seek is a narrow gorge formed by tectonic forces and flowing water that serves as the main entrance into the ancient city of Petra. The towering sandstone walls of the Seek reach up to 200 meters in height, creating a dramatic and awe-inspiring natural pathway. hiked in just under two kilometers and I think we might already be at the treasury. <laughs> The treasury is one of the most elaborate and famous structures in Petra, carved into the cliffs by the Nabataeans around the first century AD. Despite its name, it is believed to have served as a mausoleum rather than a treasury. So the main path that the treasury is on is an eight kilometer round trip, but it's just under two kilometers to the treasury itself. So I was completely not expecting to come around that. Uh, corner and to see the treasury like it's just right there it's just crazy in a second we're gonna go and to hike up to a viewpoint to see it from above and there's tons of people down here offering to take you up to a viewpoint it's only about halfway up they want money for it but there is an actual path it's long but there's an actual path that will take you up to the top for that iconic viewpoint this is the viewpoint that they take you to the one we're hiking to is up there This be the last set of stairs? <laughs> you don't think so? I know so. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was really hoping. All right, so we've just made it up to the top of the main trail. Now we still have another, another little ways to go to get to the actual viewpoint from above of the treasury. Okay, it looks and feels like we've reached the top. It got very windy, but we've got the panoramic view of the theater to the right, and then ahead is the view of the treasury. This is the panoramic viewpoint of the theater, though it is kind of blocked by the rocks to the left side there. I'd say just like one set of stairs down was a better view to actually see the whole thing. All right, so you're gonna come to a point where it looks like you should go this way but to get to the treasury viewpoint, you actually wanna go down this area here that doesn't actually look like the path. A little air right here. But <laughs> look at what Dave has found. There is a nice little arrow on the ground and some little hidden steps. So after this little sketchy stairs, you've got a rocky dirt path to follow. And I think you can see the end from here. Looks like there's some people sitting right up on the edge over there. It's cool to get up to the top here too because during the whole climb, you basically saw nothing green. You know, the occasional little plant trying to peek out between the rocks, but 
up here there's actually a little bit of greenery. It's cool, the rocks are kind of getting a darker, more reddish hue to them. We are so close to the end. How are you feeling, Dave? Good. Yeah, this last part wasn't as bad. I mean, the whole thing. So there's a little viewpoint up at the top. You just go through this little tent. You have to buy a drink in order to sit and stay. $6. For the view, six dollar orange juice. I mean, there's also tea and stuff that was cheaper, but four dollars. That's fresh, fresh squeezed. I mean, you're not paying for the juice. You're paying for the view. Plus, there's cute cats. Well, I've adopted my eighth cat today. <laughs>